Let's take a look at setting up an equatorial platform. So this is the spot of ground I'm going to use. It is not very level, so let's get some blocks. Okay. We have blocks. Okay, so we need to get our base plate uh, leveled and pointing north. So to help us get this sorted out, we handily have so spirit level and compass built on. So we're not exactly right, but we're pretty close. And then as for pointing north, yeah, I think that'll do. Uh, so this platform is made for uh, 52 degrees. Um, so that, yeah, they are built for a particular latitude and I am further south than that. So I think to get a more precise uh, set up, I'll need to work out how to just bow it slightly. Uh, but yeah, that's generally how it's working. Here's the top plate. We're putting that pivot in there. And then the runners resting the runners on their thingies. Uh, so when you want to set it to start with, we'll start it that way and then the drive will push it in until it reaches that switch to stop it. And whilst we're here, whilst we haven't got the scope on yet, this is the, the speed control and the on off switch. It does make that whine. So you can sort of just fine tune that, uh, depending on what you're up to. All right, so one of the things that's broken on my dob is uh, the feet. I've broken all three of the built-in feet uh, broke. So I'm just gonna put them on there instead. It's got some little stoppers. I'll do the trick. <laughs> Okay, base on. Okay, so scope is on the platform. Uh, and then we would get it tracking. So now, Wherever we want to look in the sky, you can just use your use your dob as normal. Look in the, over there, and we're tracking, and then shove it around. Still tracking because it's just like the ground. The, the ground is being adjusted to move against the sky, so it's just that is one of the definite like pluses of this setup is just the same dob experience except you get tracking same manual dob i should say and then uh, once you run out of track so you know you get like an hour or something out of this uh, and then it runs all the way to the end And it stops and then you have to reset which just involves carefully lifting and putting back and obviously now that will disrupt your target uh, you have to re find what you're looking at and it will um, if you're doing a time lapse of a planet uh, and you had it all set up equatorially and it was going you know, the planets rotating in the same way. When you reset it, 
you'll get a new angle uh, to deal with. So in that sense, not as good as an actual uh, equatorial mount if you wanted to do hours of uh, time lapse. I'm gonna have to get something sorted with these blocks, aren't they? They're rubbish. Rubbish blocks. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we can drift a line, uh, which is a technique where you can sort of follow objects at different points in the sky to just kind of try and like fine tune the, the the amount east or west that the that the platform is facing, or the the exact like uh, you can raise or lower it slightly to get get even more precise. But even even though I'm a bit off from the correct latitude for this, uh, and it. If I just do what the compass and the spirit level tells me to do, it's actually worked pretty well, so uh, happy with that. Um, hope this was useful, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.